Hey guys, welcome to a guide on how to get yourself the Izanagi's Burden, the new exotic primary sniper rifle introduced in the Black Armory DLC. If you've been out of the loop of Destiny 2 for a while or are just looking for one complete guide on how to do this entire quest line, don't worry, I've got you covered. This guide is going to be pretty long, so grab a snack, get comfy, here we go. The very first thing you should do before even thinking about working on the Mysterious Box quest is unlock all of the forges. The first thing you can do here is ignite the Valunder Forge by finishing the Black Armory Introductory Quest where you forge the Hammerhead Machine Gun at the very start of the DLC. After you've knocked that out, to start the quest to unlocking the Gofanon Forge, you're just going to need to kill Fallen on any destination. Eventually some stolen Black Armory gear will drop, it looks like one of those materials that drops from patrol beacons. That will start a long quest line that has you to do a few missions, run some lost sectors, kill a bunch of fallen, and collect items. And it culminates in you fighting a servitor boss within the Nessus Forge. After you beat him, you'll gain access to the sniper frame and can ignite the Gofanon Forge. The third quest is even longer and more brutal, and to acquire it, you'll need to kill Vex on Nessus to get the quest item to drop. Eventually, you'll find yourself in the Izanami Forge fighting a Hydra boss and reclaiming the third forge, getting access to the bow frame. Now if you've done all of that, you're pretty much caught up to speed with most players. Luckily there is no quest required to access Niobe Labs and play the Burguzia Forge. You can simply jump in it anytime you want through a bunker way south of the outskirts accessible by bridge in Sojourner's Camp EDZ. Keep in mind the forges do increase in their power recommendations. The very first forge suggests being 610, the third encourages being 630, and the final forge has a recommended power of 650. So if you plan on finishing this quest soon, you will need to do some leveling up. To acquire the mysterious box quest, head to the Valunder Forge, and before jumping across to the forge arena, drop down to your left and enter this cave area. You can interact with the large black armory crate here, and it will reward you with the exotic quest. Keep in mind this pursuit is not account wide, similar to the way unlocking the forges works. So I would highly suggest only focusing on the quest with one character to keep things simple. The box requires four keys to be inserted into each of the four locks. To get the first three keys, it's as simple as shooting two blue drones in each of the forges to get maximum temper and opening a crate at the very end of them. For the final key, we'll need to mold it ourselves through a quest line. So here's how to get the first three. Once you've started up the Valunder Forge, you'll want to locate these two small blue drones that only appear for about 20 to 25 seconds at the beginning of the second round. The first drone can be seen hovering near the ceiling over in the caves area to the right of the forge machine. Put a few rounds in it and it should explode easily. The second drone is over on the left of the forge machine near the open water area. You can see it floating in a circle around the leftmost tree on this island out here. Once you've located them, it's not too difficult to shoot both of them yourself before they disappear. Once both drones are down, you'll see a status on your screen called Maximum Temper. This will persist even if you die until one of two things happens. You beat the boss, or you make it to the third round but the time runs out. Regardless of which one ends up happening, when the activity ends you'll see another large black armory crate spawn right next to the forge machine. As long as you made it to round 3, it will be there for you to open. This will grant you your fishhook key which you can insert into the lock from your inventory. Try and avoid having a full pursuits tab in your inventory just in case. There are some other secrets in this forge, so if you want to check those out, I'll leave a link in the description box, but they are not required for this mysterious box quest, so let's move on to key number two. Acquiring this key works the exact same way as the last one. Find and destroy the two drones in Gofanon. One of them is hanging up in the shell of a destroyed ship in the back here, and the other is pretty close nearby, to the left of the last drone, just chilling here in mid-air next to this small rock column. Again, all you need to do here is complete or fail round 3 to spawn the crate and open it up for the hand lock key. For the butterfly key, locate the two drones in Izanami. One is floating around the pillar on the right island, and the other is floating around the column on the left island. Again, these spawn in the beginning of round 2 and only hang around for about 20 to 25 seconds, so be ready for them. Pick up your key for the crate and we're ready to craft a mold to open the final lock. Once you've unlocked all previous forges, Ada will offer you a black armory key mold. The first thing you'll need to do is once you get this, go farm some watchers in the underbelly of the Leviathan. If you don't know what that means or need a refresher on how to access the underbelly and farm those watchers, I've left a link in the description on how to do that. 
In the video I linked in the description, I originally said you had to collect a lens from all 24 unique watchers because you know there's 24 of them and you need 24 lens, so that just made sense to me. But now you can farm the same room over and over again. The next step is to collect Glimmering Amethyst from a variety of sources. World Chests give 1, these are the small caches you find in Patrol, Public Events give 5, Heroic Public Events give 10, and Strikes and Nightfalls give 20. The fastest way to complete this step is to either farm the fastest Nightfall by putting on a Singe and Heavyweight and speedrunning it, or just by doing Heroic Public Events. Remember, you can double dip or triple dip public events by traveling back to a nearby fast travel point and sometimes getting lucky that you end up in the same event on a different server. Once completed, you'll need to head to Niobe Labs and shoot two more final drones to get maximum temper. The first drone is near the edge of the house with the vines all over it, and the second drone can be found behind the red pipes here. Entering this final key into its lock will reveal a mysterious decryption device within the box. Take this to Ada 1 and in return she'll give you an unidentified frame which unfortunately requires a rare bounty. Rare bounties have a chance to drop from turning in Ada's daily forge bounties, but they can also drop from the Bergusia forge ignitions. There is no special requirement for getting these rare bounties to drop in the forge, they just randomly do, so super annoying but if you're far behind and still playing catch up, do as many daily bounties from her as possible and hopefully you'll get one before getting to this step. Rare bounties have a two week expiration date, unless you complete the bounty then you can hold on to it forever. Claiming this rare bounty with the unidentified frame in your inventory will produce an obsidian crystal that needs to be consumed into the frame. You can do this via your inventory just like you put keys into the locks. And then you're on to the next step, which is to beat the Shattered Throne dungeon. That's it, just beat it, solo or with a team doesn't matter. Keep in mind the Shattered Throne only comes around every 3 weeks, so it's here until January 15th, and then it returns for another week on Tuesday, January 29th, and so on. Beat the Shattered Throne and then you'll be instructed to fight through a 640 Pyramidian Strike. There is nothing special about it, it's literally just a 640 to 650 strike, and killing Brachion lets you advance to the final mission, where you hunt down and kill civics lost to none through a mission in the Bergusia Forge. There is no time limit on this mission, so thankfully it can be done solo if you really want that challenge. Killing civics drops the final piece of the puzzle. Bring it to Ada, and you're done. Izanagi's Burden, the exotic primary sniper, is yours. Its special exotic perk is called Honed Edge, where holding reload consumes the magazine and loads a more powerful round. The weapon also has Outlaw, which is a nice bonus, and I've heard this thing can one-shot body shot in Crucible if you load all the bullets into one super powerful shot, and while it may not compete with Whisper on the DPS side of things, it definitely packs a punch. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video.